Hi. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I didn't sleep last night. I'm running on like three hours of sleep. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been incarcerated for eight and a half years. I will be released on Thursday, December 28th. I've been kind of packing things in my room, and it's kind of funny because I started packing like two years ago. Louisiana, we're not used to the snow. I'm excited. I'm super excited, super nervous, but in a good nervous. Like it's. It's ready for it to have, it's actually happening. All right, party people. Heading out. Next time y'all see me, I will have Gypsy Rose. I'm beside myself. It feels like I'm having a new baby, <laughs> you know? Uh, it feels great. I just hope she feels comfortable and we're not. it's not too much for her, but hopefully she's not too overwhelmed. That's my only concern. Hey, baby. I got you on speakerphone. Okay. I'm uh, driving right now. We're driving to Chillicothe to come get you. Oh, thank God, sir. Are you excited? I'm very excited. You know, it's funny. Christy, when I was leaving, she said, look, when you pick Gypsy up, do FaceTime. We want to FaceTime her. And your dad goes, uh -huh. can he have a couple minutes by himself with his wife? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Mwah. Mwah. Love it. I'm a little bummed out because Ryan's going and I'm not. But I mean, I'm super excited. She's coming out. She's coming out. She wants Ryan to get her. We're totally cool with that. They're going to come tomorrow. Tomorrow night, she'll be with us. And it freaks me out. Like, I'm overwhelmed because I never in a million years thought that this day would come. It's as nice as I'm going to look. As nice as it gets. I'm so nervous. My nerves are bad. You know, just the fact that I text the major and he never texts me back makes me worry. Oh, there he is. I can do that. Game time. Game time. If we are followed, I think I can lose them in some streets. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I got you, boss. Let's see. Off. There you go. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Double doors right there. All right. So how's she doing? She nervous? Yeah? The boots do not fit. The boots don't fit? The boots don't fit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Everything that I'm wearing is so small. I told you. Let me give you this. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you. I'm you ready so to go. Good. You look so good. <laughs> the car okay. is moving. Oh, my God. Yeah, baby, we're out. We're out. Oh, my God. Oh, it so feels so weird being in a car. Yeah, I get to touch your leg. <laughs> Oh, I missed you. I missed you too. Oh, you're free. <laughs> I'm free. Oh. Ooh, this car is going really fast. Yeah. <laughs> there, hit that box button down there at the bottom. Okay. All right. Which one you want? Instagram. Okay, Instagram's on the home screen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Aw, that's so crazy. I feel like ever since my case was all over the media, all over the news, um, people have been on this journey with me. It's cold. Hi. What took you so long? <laughs> Hi. You made it. Safe and sound. Mm. Just like I said. A little scared? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. It was a little scary there for a second. 
Thank you. Oh, for you. I know. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Mm. I miss you guys. God, I miss you too. I think that I've outgrown this prison version of myself that I think a lot of people have come to associate me with. I think what I'm really searching for in my life is a purpose for my life. To be perfectly honest, I am so sick and tired of talking about my past. I am ready to talk about the future and what's ahead. All right, one, All right. two, three. three. Sir, my name is Mike Stanfield, and I was her attorney during the case. I guess what I would like is just some clarification as to why she needs to travel directly to Louisiana. This was supposed to be a good day. A lot of my friends and family traveled out of state to see me. Our plans was to stay a few days in Kansas City and drive back on the 1st to Louisiana. And we just kind of wanted to get together, share some quality time for a few days before I, we, we drove back. We get a call from Jefferson City Probation and Parole Office saying that they're my parole officer in Missouri and they're directing me to go straight back to Louisiana. Don't even stop in Kansas City. And I'm in the middle of it, not knowing whether I have to basically get in a car and go straight to Louisiana right now or go in the morning or not at all. I'm like, why does my instructions have to be different than anyone else's? Because to me, I'm just another average bear. And I guess I'm getting a huge culture shock. So. Okay, so so the issue is, is you just want her out of the state of Missouri. Hey, he's calling this, down this Richard right now. This is easy. This is easy. Let's just give him a I just need a minute, That's okay? I kept asking the question. I'm not understanding what the deal is here. So. All right. <laughs> they wanted me to send me back. They were gonna send you back. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. I didn't Don't want be sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I fulfilled my end of what my obligations are. I do not feel free right now. I feel like I am in a different form of prison. <laughs>